Hello everybody and welcome to our seniors Pilates standing exercise with the resistance band today. So lovely to have you all here with me. There's already 60 of you uh, online and the numbers are going up as we speak. So without further ado, we're going to begin the session just to say if there's anything you want to talk about, any questions you have for me about Pilates, then feel free to pop them into the chat. I know some of you have been chatting already and got some questions in. And what I'll do is at the end of the session, I'll come back and answer all those for you. Okay. But for those of you who just want to get started, get our movement going, let us begin. So here we go. We are going to go and start standing. And I hope you can see me because it was really, really bright earlier. The sun was pouring in the window, so I've turned the exposure down. So I'm hoping it still looks okay. And what we're going to start with is a little exercise to show you how to do the Pilates breathing. And it's brilliant when you've got one of these because it really helps. So I want you to get your bands like this, yeah, nice and flat. And I want you to place it just under your chest, around the bottom of your ribs, cross it over at the back, like so, and then bring it around the front. Sounds really strange, doesn't it? But you'll see why. And now I want you to think as if you're wearing a corset and just tighten it a little so you can feel it around the bottom of your ribs. And we do in Pilates what we call diaphragmatic breathing. So we're trying to really use the diaphragm, expand our breath, get more oxygen in the body. All right, so this is how we're going to see how it works. So what you're going to do is take a breath in. And as you breathe in, I want you to push your ribs out into that band. So you're widening across the ribs. And as you breathe out, I want you to feel those ribs coming back together and maybe you can make your band a little tighter. Okay, so it's going to feel quite strong around your rib cage. So breathe in, pushing the band out. And breathe out, feel the ribs coming back together. And if you can, a little tightening of the band there. Let's do that again. So deep breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Keep it going so you're inhaling through the nose, nice long in breath, and exhaling through the mouth. Sometimes you can get a little dizzy with this because you're getting more oxygen in your body. So just be mindful of that. Keep it going, deep breath in, and breathing out. And one more deep breath in. And breathing out. Now keep that breathing in mind. Let's bring our elbows in and let's bring our hands forward. So you're in this position, okay? And what you're gonna do from there is you're gonna inhale to open your arms out. Keeping the elbows by your side, you're gonna to exhale to bring them back. So this is gonna work your shoulders. Inhale as you open. And exhale back. And the idea is as you open, I want you to try and feel your shoulder blades squeezing towards each other and then relaxing as the hands come back. So inhale to open and exhale back. Inhale to open and exhale back. Just two more. Inhale, open and exhale back and inhale, open and back. Now what we're going to do from here is open out with those arms and now I want you to think of the hands reaching out and down. This is going to feel quite strong on the arms. You may not even straighten them. Just do what you can and then bend the elbows, bring them into your waist and bring the hands back towards each other. So we open out and then you're going to press out on that band. Feels quite strong. So you just go to where you can do. All right, then you're going to bring the elbows in and come back. So we're going to open, 
extend out, bend and come back, open, extend out, bend and come back one more, open, extend out and bend and come back. Well done. So you can unwrap yourself now like a lovely present. There we go. All right. So let's bring the band around the front and let's do some loosening up of the shoulders. So everything you do today, you do what feels comfortable in your body. Anything doesn't feel right, leave it out, okay? Or make it smaller. So we've got our arms quite wide for this one. You're going to breathe in. You're going to lift the arms all the way up. And as you breathe out, you're taking those arms back. Can you see? So taking the arms back as far as you feel is okay for you. Then you're going to inhale up and exhale as you come over. So you're going to breathe in, lift. Breathe out to go back. Inhale up and exhale over. Keep that going. Going to inhale up and exhale back inhale lift and exhale over inhale up exhale reaching back inhale lift and over one more time up and back and up and over. So we've got quite a lot of upper body work to start with. We will be doing our legs in a little while. So from here, I want you to bring your hands forward again. So they're straight in front of you. Can you see? So they're in a line with your shoulders. And then what you're going to do there is check your feet are still hip width apart. You're going to take your right arm out to the side whilst keeping your left arm still. So you're going to feel a pull on the back of the shoulder and then bring it back. So you want to kind of avoid both arms going. We're keeping this arm still, and this one is going to the side and back. Side and back. Side and back. So keeping your shoulders down and back. Side and back. One more time, side and back. Bring your arms down for a moment. Roll your shoulders out. Give those arms a little rest. And let's bring them up. Let's do the other side. So this arm's going to stay still. This one is going out to the side and back. Out to the side and back. Side and back. Side and back. Side. And back one more, side and back. Well done. Bring the arms down. Let's roll the shoulders up, back and round. Up, back and round. Up, back and round. Good. Up, back and round. Up, back and round. Last one. Up, back and round. Now you're going to bring those arms up. It's a similar idea, and what we're going to do is we're going to start by keeping this hand still and moving this one, okay? So you're going to try and draw the band down or draw the arm down and bring it up. Now, if that's too strong, just make your hands wider, all right, so it's not as challenging. So you're still going to feel resistance. We take the arm down. We bring it back up, taking the arm down and up. So you have to think of when you take that arm down, you want to make sure you miss the back of your head. I know this can mess up your hairdo, as I've learned myself, and back. So keeping that left arm still, we're going to do two more, down and up. Now we're going to go down, we're going to hold it there, and I want you to turn your head to look down towards that hand. Now I want you to turn your head to look up towards the other hand. Good. So we're going to turn to look down. We're going to turn to look up. Two more times. Down. 
turn to look up. And now you can turn your head towards me and I want you to bend this arm. So it's your left arm bending. Taking your hand behind your head and press out. Left arm bend and press out. And bend and press out. So again, your right arm is still. That's what's creating that resistance. Four, four, three, two, one. Bring the arms up and take them down. Roll your shoulders out. Four, four, three, two, one. Let's bring those arms up. Do you remember what we did? We're going to go the other way now, okay? So we're going to draw this hand down. So right arm is still, left arm drawing down and back up. Drawing down and up. Down and up. Good. So try and feel some resistance, all right? If it's too painful, you don't have to go that far. Just do your best. That's all I ask for three two, one, hold it here, turn down to look towards that hand and turn the head to look up towards the other hand, turn down to look towards that hand and turn up to look the other way, last two, looking down and looking up. Now turn your head towards me. Let's bend that right arm. Keep your left arm still and press up. Bend and press up. Bend and press up. Good. Bend and press up. Four, four, three, two, one, bring the arms up and come on down. Well done. Let's just roll those shoulders out again for four, three, two, one. And now we're going to move down to working our muscles here on the side of the waist, our oblique muscles. Very important for movement, sort of going sideways, also for rotating. Okay, so I just invented this before the session. So hopefully I'm going to remember this well for you. So you're going to put the band around your waist like you did before. Okay, and you're going to bring the band to this side. Can you see? And I want you to have that band as flat again as you possibly can. Okay, and you're going to hold it in your hand like so. All right. So you can feel it's flat. It's just right there where the muscles are, right on the side of the waist. And this hand is just pulling slightly. So I want you to pull out so you feel a bit of work in your bicep, but you can feel that the band's pulling in against your side here. Okay, and then all I want you to do is pull your hips away. So can you see my hips are going out and coming back, going out and back, and it's actually working the muscles right here, going out and back, out and back, out and back, four, four, three, two, and one. Well done, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, so we need to turn it around and bring it around this way. So now you're holding in the other hand. Check that the band is flat. That way you're going to get maximum benefit from it. So you can see the bands do like to roll up a little bit. Okay, there's no rush here. Okay, so you're taking hold of that band. Check it's nice and flat there and it's on the side of your waist. All right, now pull out slightly in that direction and now pull your hips this way. You should feel this all around here. That's it, and out. And four, three, two, one. Well done, and relax there. Okay, very good. Lots of upper body work, and we've done some core. So now we're going to go on to 
the legs and the feet. So first I'm going to do is a really nice exercise for the feet. So I want you to get the band like I am. So you're holding uh, one end in each hand. You're going to place the band on the floor and put your right foot in that band. Okay, and make sure it's around your toes or it's under your toes and under your ball of your foot, yeah? And then you're going to take hold of the end and we're going to lift the toes up. Can you see I've lifted my toes up? Can you see? That's it. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go sideways for you because I think it's better. You'll see me better. Okay, so you've got your right foot forward. Okay. And I want you to lift up, pull back slightly on that band. Can you see my elbows are going back? So you've got a bit of resistance. Now look down at your foot and I want you to press your foot down. So you feel you're really working your foot muscles here and your ankle muscles and then bring the toes back up. So make it as challenging as it, as it suits you. Press down and up. Press down and up. Press down and up. Keep going. Down and up. Down and up. One more. Press down and up. Now I want you to press the feet down and start to transfer your weight forward. So this is where we need to use our balance slightly. So the weight's now going into that right leg. You're going to lengthen your arms down. Make sure your hands are towards the end of your band. And I want you to just bring the band out slightly so you feel a bit of resistance. It's also to help you balance. Try not to look at the floor now. Let's look straight ahead. Find something to focus on. And let's try and lift the leg behind us. So left leg lift and lower. Left leg lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower for four, three, two, one, well done. Now put the toes down, bend the knee slightly on that front leg. Bring your weight back though, so weight is in the center between both legs, and let's take both arms out to the side. And four, Three, two, one. Now I want you to draw the shoulders down and take both arms back. For four, three, two, one. Well done. Coming up changing sides. So put your left foot in, your right foot back. And as we used to say in England, do the okie cokey <laughs> and you turn around. So here we go. Left foot forward, shoulders down, toes are up and you make the resistance as much as feels okay for you. All right. So you've got a flex foot. Now you're going to press that foot down and bring it back up. Press it down. You want to feel some resistance in the lower part of your leg. Press down and lift up. Press down and lift up. Keep that going for four, three, two, one. Staying there. Now we're going to soften that knee. We're going to transfer the weight forward. Okay, we're going to let our arms lengthen down. All right, and then from there, we're going to take our arms out to the side just a little because that will really help you balance. Okay, tummy muscles pulling in, little lift to the back. So right leg lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower for four, three, two, one. Well done. And then from there, we're just going to take the weight back slightly, bend the knees slightly, take the arms out to the side. Three, four, and four. 
three, two, one. All right, now we're gonna reach the arms back, keep them straight, back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, well done, and come on up. Okay, so keep the foot in the band. I'm just gonna turn back to face you. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put both feet in the band. So make sure you've got an even amount of band in each hand, step onto it, feet hip width apart. Okay, and then let's draw those shoulders down. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend the knees. I'm just gonna turn slightly. There we go, so you can see me. So we're gonna bend the knees. We're gonna keep the back straight, but we're gonna hinge at the hips. All right, so nice long spine. Bend, you can see it goes loose and lift up. Bend and lift up. And I want you to keep a nice long spine. Try not to stick the chin out. Think of lengthening through the back of the neck. The way I always um, think of it is you don't want any creases in the back of your neck, okay? Bend and up, bend and up. Bend and up, one more, bend and up. Standing nice and tall, I want you to see if you can just lift your heels up. You don't have to go high, just lift them up and place them down. Lift them up and down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Four, four, three, two, one, now we're gonna do a second set, but this time we're gonna try and make it a little more challenging on the resistance. So I want you to bend your knees, lean forward slightly, and try and wiggle your fingers a little lower down the band. Okay, keep that nice long spine. Okay, you're gonna feel this in your bottom, okay? All right, so from here, nice long spine, and then just standing up nice and tall. So you're going to bend, and straighten, bend and straighten. So I always think of, is imagine you're sitting back in a chair. You want the weight in the heels. We want to try and be nice and open across the front of the chest. All right, so we're not rounding our shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Standing nice and tall. Let's lift the heels, little lift and lower, little lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Four, four, three, two, one. Well done, we're gonna do a third set. If you wanna go a little low with the hands, please do. All right, so we're gonna bend the knees, Tilt forward, and let's try and go a little lower with those hands. All this does, it makes it a little more challenging for your legs and your bottom muscles, okay? So we're gonna stand tall and bend. Lift up and bend. Good, so nice long spine. Use your breath to help you. So you breathe out as you straighten. And down. Up and down for four, three, two, one. Last time, lifting the heels up and down. Lift up and down. Lift and lower. Try and feel all those toes pressing into the floor as the heels lift. And three, two, one, well done. Now bend your knees a little so you can just bring your hands up, back up to the top of the band. And you're gonna face me, I'm gonna face you. And here's another little one for your balance. We're gonna work the side of the leg. So starting with your right leg, you're gonna place your weight over onto this left side and try and push the leg out to the side. So you're pushing into that band. 
push. That's it. Push. Good. Push. And four. Three. Two. One. Come down. Now let's take the weight over to the other side. So feel the weight moving over, standing tall. Think of the side of the foot pressing out. That's it, three. You're doing great. Four. And four. Three. Two. One. You can really feel that one on the hips, can't you? All right, so you're going to take your left foot out now. And you're going to keep the band around the right foot. And earlier, we did the pressing down exercise, yeah, which is working the foot muscles. We're now going to work the muscles of your ankle. So what you're going to do is you're going to have the weight in the back leg. You're going to lift the toes up once again. Okay, and you can see I'm going to pull slightly on that band and draw my elbows back. And then from here, I want you to turn that foot in, trying to keep your leg still and bring it back to the center. So look down at your foot. We're bringing it in and center. In and center. So this strengthens the muscles of the ankle and the lower leg. Very important. The more mobility you have in your ankles, less likely you are to trip. And if you do trip, less likely to fall. Okay. For three, two, and one. You should go the out, outward way now. So you're going to go out. This is much harder and you won't get as much motion. Nobody does or as much range. No one can. You just go to where you can and try and keep that leg still. Good. For four, three, two, one. Well done. Let's swap legs. So switching legs. You're doing really well because we're nearly there already. I can't believe how quickly the time goes. So lifting up, weight in that back leg. Okay, make sure you can feel a bit of resistance on the foot. Then turn the foot in and back. In and back. In and back. In and back. For four. Three. Two. One. Well done. Let's turn it out. Going out and back. Out and back. Out and back. Out and back. For four. Three. Two. One. And bring it back. Last exercise, everyone. Swap back to the first leg. And this is your final challenge for today. Okay, so weight is in that back leg. All right, and I want you to draw the tummy in and lift the leg up. If you can, knees in line with the hip, any hip procedures, you want to have it a little lower. Okay, and I want you to hold the hand still and press down. Yeah, hold it still and press down. Let me go sideways so you can see. Press down and up. Press down and up for four, three, two, one. Step onto that foot, swap over to the other leg. All right, so your last exercise. Okay, so lifting up nice and tall, bring those arms up, bring that leg up, 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 up. Keep your hands where they are. Press down and up, press down and up, press down and up. Good. Last four, four, three, two, one. Well done. Bend the knees and take the band away. And now we're just going to just pop it off to one side. Let's roll the shoulders out to finish. So deep breath in and exhale as they go back. Inhale and exhale. 
Inhale and exhale. Let's follow through the arms. Inhale as they come up. Exhale as they reach out. Inhale to come up. Exhale to reach out. And one more. Inhale and exhale to reach out. And there you go, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. That was our 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes standing Pilates with a resistance band. Hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Okay, everyone, just to, to remind you, if you need to go, please press the like button uh, and please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to stay around for a few minutes, I'm going to come and have a chat to you now. Okay, so here we go. Chat time, everyone. Uh, first of all, I did want to say to all of you, thank you so much for your patience because I was supposed to do this one last week, but unfortunately I double booked myself and I couldn't fit everything in. So thank you so much for your patience and for coming to join me today. Thank you, my darling. My husband's just brought me in questions. Okay, and donations. I so saw I shall do the donations first. Um, my little dog might come in. Hopefully she won't bark. If you see a dog behind me, that's my uh, rescue dog. Are you gonna, what are you going to do? Yeah, why don't you go and sit in the chair? That's it. Well, I talked to all these lovely people. Okay, so before I forget, a huge thank you to uh, Geraldine Densham. Hi, Geraldine. Thank you very much indeed for your very generous donation. And you've got a lovely emoji there, jumping up and down, fabulous number one fan. So thank you very much indeed, Geraldine. Great to have you here. I also want to say a huge thank you, thank you to Cheryl. So Cheryl has donated and sent a lovely emoji uh, that says, you are amazing. Thank you. And that's that Cheryl from Virginia, I'm sure, isn't it? Yes, it is. Cheryl from Virginia. So thank you very much. Love your emoji too. It's really lovely. I love seeing those happy emojis. They're great, aren't they? Rona Stevens. Hello, Rona. How are you? I hope you're well. Huge thank you to you for your donation today. And you've given me a nice thumbs up. So thank you very much indeed. Really appreciate that. Uh, Susan Eisenbach. Hello, Susan. Nice to see you again. Has sent a lovely donation as well. Thank you. I love the fact you guys pick emojis. I love the emojis. They are the super stickers, aren't they? So thank you very much indeed. Oh, there she goes. She's up on her chair now. Um, and Tessa, I want to say a huge thank you to Tessa for your donation this morning and your lovely emoji of your little fox. Uh, what is he saying? Number one. Oh, thank you. That's really cool. Love that. So thank you very much indeed, everyone. So if you've got any questions, any feedback, any suggestions, this is the best, best time to do that because I'm here. I'm just going to turn my lights up a little. I, I can be here live with you uh, and I can make notes of everything. I know sometimes it's really hard to communicate because uh, there are so many people on the channel now sending messages. I just can't answer them all now because there are just so many of them. So the live chat's always the best way to get an answer for something or get a, a suggestion across. I did want to mention my uh, community page. I don't know if you know of it, but I do have a community page which is on the channel. So if you look down under my channel uh, banner you'll see if you look along community and that's where I do posts and the posts are about videos that are coming up but there's also a little bit of an insight into kind of behind the scenes uh, or little things that I might be doing that I think might be of interest so do go and have a look at that when you can um, and yes I have to remind you also that today at six o'clock which is in what 20 odd minutes 25 minutes I'm doing a five minute ab session. So that's something I recorded last week, uh, but I will be on the chat for a few minutes for that as well. So if you want to do that, do join in. That's all standing as well, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna go to uh, questions and suggestions. So um, 
And I'll do a few shout outs actually, because um, it's nice to do that. So Grace, I'm going to say hello to Grace Dosti. I hope I pronounced that properly. Hello, Grace. Says, morning, Rachel. How is everyone this morning? I didn't do a live senior for a while, so I'm looking forward to it. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, Grace. It was quite a challenging one today. So I decided today to focus this session on um, upper body work really good upper body and shoulder work. The breathing, of course, which you all did at the beginning, which hopefully that's giving you an idea of how to practice your breathing. Uh, it's really good to do with the band. And we did a lot of uh, balance work and ankle mobility. Um, so it's very different kind of um, exercises to ones we've done in our other standing Pilates for seniors. So do think of adding this to your playlists. Um, and mixing them up because what keeps a body going is the challenge. So it's good to do regular videos that you know you really enjoy, but also consider putting one in there that maybe you don't enjoy as much, but you know it's good for you. Because uh, we all have our favorite things that we like to do, don't we? But sometimes the things that are our least favorite are the things that our body needs, uh, whether it's balance work or shoulder work or whatever it so do go and have a look at the seniors playlist I have on the channel uh, and it's I put everything for seniors in there so you can see everything that we've done all right um so I'm gonna say uh to Geraldine Geraldine says hi I haven't been able to join a live session for so long but I've been doing two or three times a week I'm amazed at how much it's improved my strength and fitness I am a new woman Geraldine that is wonderful. I'm so pleased to hear it. Uh, it's always good to hear of people who've been doing things regularly and really kind of see and feel the difference in their body. Uh, and I think you find you get more energy as well, don't you? When you feel more capable and more uh, confident in your movement, it also makes you kind of want to do more and keep it up. So well done, Geraldine. Thank you very much. Um, so I'm going to go down the chat to... Um, Mary Ann Markalongo, what a fabulous name, Mary Ann Markalongo. Mary Ann says, a question, would you consider doing a seven day playlist that focuses on a different body area each day? Mary, that's a great idea. And yes, why not? Um, certainly can do that. I haven't done a playlist yet, but um, I have been thinking, I've been slowly adding little five minute sessions. Um, so I've got a five minute full body stretch, which has gone down a storm. I have to say that's been a really popular video. Um, I've got a five minute full body workout, which is a really super challenging one. Um, but I've got five minute abs today. So I was thinking about, and I've got a note on my notepad, of filming more five minute sessions. So I think Marianne, that's a brilliant idea. And yes, I will. I'll start to record some more uh, five minutes or maybe you want more than five minutes. I don't know. Let me know, Mary. Uh, put it, If you're still with me, put a note down there in the chat and I'll have a look. Um, but yes, I certainly will. I think that's a great idea. I was actually going to do a video for feet um, along the lines of some of the work we did today because I think that's really important for everyone um, but seniors in particular, because our bodies just get stiffer as we get older. Um, and I consider myself in that bracket as well as I'm 57 now. Um, so I certainly do a lot more uh, mobility work um, of all the joints, wrists, hands, everything. Um, in fact, I'm going to put five minute hands as well, because I think that might be good. And I think sometimes with the five minute videos, because they are five minutes on one particular thing, in some ways it doesn't sound like it's a lot, but actually when it's concentrated movement, it is quite intense. Um, so I'll look at doing that if that sounds good to you, Marianne. And thank you very much for the suggestion. I'm going to put a big tick on that one. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so saying hello to Tessa. Hello, Tessa, who's in a very sunny, warm Cape Cod. 
uh, who says, so appreciative of your offering this to this, this to us. You're very welcome, Tessa. Lovely to have you here. I'm glad it's lovely, sunny and warm in Cape Cod. Believe it or not, you can probably see that it's quite sunny here as well. Um, when we got up this morning, it was autumn in the UK. It was wind, rain, rainstorms, and now at the end of the day, it's about 20 degrees and it's really sunny. So I guess that's autumn weather for you, isn't it? But it's been lovely. Lovely to have you here, uh, Tessa. Saying hello to Sarah Abelwich. Abelwitz, is that right? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Lovely to have you here, Sarah. Glad it's sunny where you are. Uh, Grace Dosti says, thanks, Colm, for the video workout from your vacation. Rachel, always thinking about us. Well, I do my best to think about you all um, because I love taking care of you all via my YouTube channel. It's For me, it's an honor. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Um, okay, now I think we have a first timer. So I'm going to do a little shout out to Linda Cornish. Hello, Linda Cornish. How are you today? Uh, lovely to see you here. You said, hi, Rachel and Kerwin. My first time joining your live session. Well, you know what, Linda? It is lovely to have you here. I hope you enjoyed it. And just to let you know, Linda, we do this session every four to five weeks. I do need to get myself a bit more organized, don't I, with my senior sessions. But every Monday at five, I do either a video, which could be for any fitness level, any age group, or I replace it with a senior session, which I try and do every four to five weeks. Um, so there you go. So do always check in on a Monday and I will try and get something lined up for us all uh, in uh, four weeks time. OK, so we can come and meet each other again live in four weeks. Okay, so going down at the chat, there is Cheryl from Regina going, Phewy, I am working away from the house today and will be missing all the live fun, but I will look forward to uh, but I will look forward to next month. Thanks, Rachel. Well, thank you, Cheryl, because you donated anyway, which was very kind of you. So thank you very much. Uh, saying hello to Maria Boyd. Hello, Maria Boyd. Maria is in San Juan Capistrano. California sounds so exotic. How lovely. Uh, great to have you here, Maria. I hope you enjoyed our session today. Okay, so I'm going to go down the chat now. So if you've got any questions, fire them over. Kim B. Hello, Kim B. Haven't seen you for a, a while, but it's lovely to see your name come up. Good morning from Bellingham, Washington. Good morning to you, Kim. Um, and I'm going to say, I'm going to try and pronounce this. Wow. Iphigenia. Iphigenia. Hello. Iphigenia Adamidi. I hope I said that right. Says hello. Hello to you two from the UK. Uh, Susan G says, good afternoon, everyone. First Monday session. Thank you, Rachel and Cohen. Well, good afternoon to you, Susan. Lovely to have you here. Iphigenia, Iphigenia, I hope I'm saying that correctly, says hello from Athens in Greece. Hello to you in Greece. Lovely to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us. Jane Sites is here from Michigan today. Thank you, Jane. Lovely to see you. Okay, going down the chat. Oh, here's a familiar name, Sue De Pinto. Hello, Sue. Uh, Sue says, good afternoon, everyone. And thanks, Rachel Cohen and Boo. Left elbow sore, tennis elbow, though I don't play. Oh, that's really annoying, isn't it? Um, yes, I know how that feels. I've had that myself, Sue. So I'll watch while I, while I sing. Thanks for all you. Are you baking a cake? That sounds interesting. Um, thanks for all you do. Have a great week. Yeah, be careful of that um, elbow. You don't want to be doing anything where you're doing too much work with the wrist if you've got a tennis elbow. So do take care. Um, okay, Suda Pinto says, coffee coming your way. Thank you very much. Ranjit, I can see you're here. So I'm saying a big hello to you, Ranjit. Nice to see you. Ruth Deleu says, hello, everyone. Hello to you, Ruth, and hello to Amy. Good afternoon to you. Uh, 
Uh, Ranjit says, was late, so I'll do it later. Don't you worry, Ranjit. But let me know what you thought. There's lots of really good upper body work in this one that I think you'll like with the resistance band. Um, okay, so going down the chat now, I'm just going to see if there's any more questions. Lily Mars, hello, Lily Mars. Love to see you here. Has, uh, Lily says, hello, Rachel Cohen and Pilates buddies. Lily, look, Boo's here having a little sleep in the corner. Um, got home a little too late for the workout, but I'll visit with you all and do the workout afterward. Beautiful day here on the Costa del Sol. Lovely. Mary Sidebottom uh, says, so sorry I joined you partway through. Looking forward to doing the whole class from the beginning. Hello, Mary. Now, if I remember rightly, I think you're in Switzerland, aren't you? So we've got a really international class today, which is absolutely wonderful. Okay, so going down uh, the chat, here we go. Jill Dancer says, thanks, Rachel, worth the wait. Hello, Jill, lovely to see you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, oh, lots, oh, lots more donations have come in. Oh, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, okay, Carol Watkins says, thank you, Rachel, from Boston. Hello, Carol, lovely to have you here. Grace says, love the resistance band workout for the arms and legs. It's a really good one, isn't it, Grace? I, I really love the resistance band. I do lots of it in my own practice because I just think it's just a great way to really strengthen muscles, but to keep them lean. Uh, that's why I always work with resistance rather than weights because I think it's more beneficial to the body. Um, they have actually been doing some studies and I read something and I wish I could remember where I read it to tell you um, but they've been doing some studies on resistance work as opposed to weight work and they've proven that it can make uh, muscles much stronger because you're working the uh, muscles in both directions with resistance work so if you've got a weight you've just got that kind of weight here takes you down comes back but with a resistance of a band or a spring if you're using Pilates machines, you get that resistance this way, but you also get it coming back because you've got to resist it pulling you back, haven't you? You've got to bring it back with a lot of control. And so it works both sides of those muscles. So really good stuff. Glad you liked it. Linda Cornish. Hello, Linda. Lovely to have you here. Says, Thank you for the session. It was excellent. I will donate for sure. Thank you very, very much, Linda. All donations are gratefully received. Oh, here we go. It's a blast from the past. Kathy Pierce. Hello, Kathy. Kathy's in West London in Chiswick. Thank you very much for your donation, Kathy. And she says, Thank you, Rachel. Great to catch up again, Kathy Pierce in Chiswick. Well, big kiss to you too, Kathy. Thank you so much for popping in today and for your donation. Uh, Maureen Desmarais says, Freaking fantastic. <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered. Recently diagnosed with osteoporosis. Thanks for NA Friendly Live YouTube. Maureen, today then was a perfect workout for you because we didn't do any flexion at all. So um, really, really good for osteoporosis. But we did a lot of up, upper back work, which is just what you need. So put this one on your favorites, um, Maureen, and make sure you do it again. And if you haven't seen them yet, I've got a couple of other workouts on the channel which are osteoporosis safe. So do go check them out. And it's really funny, and this is for everybody, people think that if you do an osteoporosis safe wake workout, it's easy. Actually, it's very hard because you've got to keep the back upright. You've got to work in extension, which for a lot of people is really difficult because most people spend their lives rounded forward. Um, so something that you should all try as well. But that's great to know, Maureen, and I'm really glad it worked for you. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, Cherry Marshall says, that was great. Thanks so much. Have you got any advice for glute minimus pain? Uh, yes, uh, Cherry, you need to get a massage for sure, but I'm going to show you something else you can do. I'm just going to go off camera for a second. Come back and show you one of these. Um, 
it doesn't have to be this exact one, but if you look on Amazon uh, or any physio sites, you will find these uh, balls, they're called massage balls. So they're, they're quite hard, can you see? It's not like a squidgy ball, I'm pressing really hard, not much is happening. But these are really good for releasing really tight muscles. And the way you can do it with a uh, glute minimus, which is quite hard to get to, you place it where you're feeling the discomfort, yeah? And you'll know straight away because when you apply a bit of pressure, you'll feel it's quite sore. And then you press in really hard and you just roll around. It's like a massage and you just wanna get in really, really deep there. Um, so glute minimus, I think is a bit more around the side, isn't it? Cause you've got your glute med here, glute minimus here. But I would say one of these, get yourself one of these. Um, they really will um, do the job. Um, and they are different. Um, they are different strengths of these as well. You get some that are a bit softer than the others. So if it's really, really sore, Cherry, then I you could use a tennis ball. Uh, when I was a dancer, um, we used to use a golf ball for tight muscles. And you can use it anywhere. You can use it in the neck. So you can sort of massage around here, front of the shoulders if you're tight. Like I get quite tight here. I can feel that already. It's a bit ooh bit sore. Um, you can put it on your back and be against a wall. So if I go over here, I can put it on my back or uh, on the uh, glute even. And then I'm just going to take my feet away from the wall. And I'm just going to roll around on the wall up and down. Yeah. And that will really help release some of the tension. So that's what I would recommend, Cherry. Okay, I hope that helps. Uh, Eileen Harrison, hello Aileen, says great session. Uh, thank you very much, much appreciated. Janet Nolan has said Zumba class and now this, I will sleep well tonight. <laughs> thank you very much, Janet, and thank you for your donation. That's really fantastic. Kim B has donated. Thank you very much, Kim. Says enjoyed this standing session. I haven't done many of these. Thank you for all your instruction. I have so many sessions saved, which I choose from to repeat. Very grateful. You are very, very welcome. And I want to say a huge thank you to Anna Marie Foxen for your lovely emoji and for your donation today. Much appreciated. Okay, so I've got a question from Amy N. And Amy says, sometimes when I do leg circles or when I hold my legs in tabletop, I get cramp in my hip area. Is that a leg position problem or do I need to work on strengthening? Um, okay, what I would say, Amy, is um, it depends. When you are doing, um, okay, there's two different things here. So when your legs are in tabletop, you want your knee to be directly above your hip. So if this is your legs, hip knee and then the legs are parallel to the floor yeah but if you're doing circles what happens is you are putting more load on your hip flexors and on your hip joint because your leg is further away than tabletop okay so you might want to check that your tabletop your knees aren't too far out you want to make sure they are directly above the hips let me just show you as a sample um yeah, so tabletop, let's see if I can do it correctly. That is tabletop, see it's a straight line. Hopefully I'm doing a straight line, so I can't quite see in the monitor, but you want your knees above. If your knees go too far away, that's going to really irritate the hips. Equally, if you're doing your circles, the further away your leg, the more strain on the hip. So what you can do is bend the knee and bring it in a little and make the movement a little smaller. Uh, but what I would also say, Amy, is you definitely need to stretch your hip flexors. Uh, OK, so you can do that in many ways. Uh, low impact way to do it or uh, um, an easier way to do it is to take hold of the leg and draw that leg back. You need to feel that stretch in here and across the front of the hip. 
Obviously, you can do the same uh, stretch. Let me just turn around um, by doing a kneeling lunge this way. That will also stretch the hip. Or you can stand with your hand on a wall, take the leg behind you, and then draw the knee back and find the stretch that way. But I would say it's probably a mix of your position, Amy, and the fact you'll need to stretch the hips out. Okay. Uh, so I hope that helped. Linda Cornish says, it's been brilliant. Lily Mar says, uh, careful, you'll get hooked on the live sessions. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Okay, so I'm going to have to go shortly. I just want to say a huge thank you to Maureen de Marais for your donation. Thank you, Maureen. Thank you for that lovely cute 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 little emoji really sweet so everyone i'm going to sign off now because in three minutes i'm going to be live again for a five minute ab session so if you want to stick around for that then please do as you can see it's got dark because the sun's gone in so i'm going to sort my lights out um and yeah i'll be live doing um I'll be live on the chat, but it was pre-recorded, so you'll see I'm in a different outfit. And I will try and schedule this again, our uh, Pilates for Seniors, in four weeks' time. So do keep checking the channel so that you can set a reminder. And you do that by pressing on the bell icon, uh, and it will remind you when I'm about to go live. So I just want you to say thank you for your coffees. Thank you for your donations. You're all wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll see you again very soon. All right, take care and bye for now. Bye-bye.